on Thursday, March 3rd, the third seeded 17 and 3 Hopkinton Hillers took on 14th seeded 11 and 8 and 2 Bourne in the first round of the playoffs at the Gallo Arena in Bourne. And one Hiller hit a landmark during the Hillers' offensive fireworks. There's a shot and a goal! I think that was number 100. And that is 100 as Finlayson gets it and he gives the Hillers a 1 0 lead. A really nice feed from Vokey. And Finlayson put it between the pads of the goaltender, Lacasse. And Cam Finlayson, the senior, gets his 100 and 100th point of his high school career. Lindquist. One of the worst passes a player can receive is behind you and under your feet. You're going to get smoked there. And Lason, I mean, uh, Lindquist would have checked. There's a shot and a goal. And the Hillers take a 2-0 lead as Jack Sloan buries it. What an incredible play. Owen Delaney held on to the puck a little long. Didn't panic. Let the defenseman pass by and fed Sloan. For a tap in goal. Face off control by the Hillers. Here's Abbott, takes a shot. And it's, a, it's a goal. It went through the legs of Lacasse, and the Hillers now lead 3 0. Starting to shoot free throws a little bit better, and then they went on a 4 for 16 run. There's a shot and a goal. It went off the goaltender, Lacasse, and I think Abbott got it from the bottom of the circle. Yeah, I think that'll be an unassisted goal. The Hillers got the 4-0 shutout over Bourne. Will Abbott had a pair of goals, and Cam Finlayson had a goal and two assists. And the senior also scored his 100th career point in the victory. In the second round, the quarterfinals round, more action at the Cape, this time against 12-8-1, 11-seeded Cohasset. Junior Michael Cohen strikes first for Cohasset with 10.40 left in the first. About a minute later, Cam Finlayson comes down. Pass across ice to Simos. The freshman into the attacking zone. Shoots, and he scores! The game is tied at one. Steven Simos finds the net with assists from Spencer Coveney and Cam Finlayson. And then later, Karpensky out in front. The backhander, and it's in! 2-1 Hillers, Will Karpensky with a beauty. Hillers fresh off of killing a Cohasset power play. J.H. Vokey feeds Will Karpensky and Karpensky feeds the net to make it 2-1 Hillers. Second period, Finlayson down the sideboard, pass to Owen Delaney and scores! 3-1 Hillers! What a pass by Finlayson and a break down the ice by Delaney. And then later, Jack Sloan tops it off with assists from Dan Delaney and Matt Lindquist. The Hillers skated away with the 4-1 victory as four different players score goals for the Hillers. Hopkinton advances to the semifinals to take on second-seeded 19-3 Norwell. Fourth seeded 14 and 6 Hillers girls basketball battled fellow TVL rival fifth seeded 13 and 7 Ashland in the quarterfinals of the Central Division 2 playoff bracket. There were some PA issues, but the crowd and the teams picked up the slack. Things did not start off well for the Hillers as three different clockers connected for a pair of field goals to help outscore Hopkinton 16-9 in the first. Second quarter, Julia Canistrari heated up and hit for three field goals, including two three buckets to help the Hillers outscore Ashland 11-9. Ashland leading 25-20, coming out of the half, 
but the Hillers get the 13-10 edge in the third quarter to cut the lead down to two, heading into the final eight minutes. In the fourth quarter, Ashland senior Sam Leone joined the 1,000-point club with this three-bucket. Quite a huge accomplishment to score 1,000 points in your high school career. She was congratulated by fellow teammates as well as the Hillers for the tremendous accomplishment. Fourth quarter, Hillers freshman Lily Morningstar was a star. She hit for eight points in the quarter to help the Hillers outscore Ashland 21-12 and take the game 54-47. Morningstar finished with 10, while Julia Canistrari had a team-leading 17 points and Michaela Pucci struck for 13. The Hillers advance to the semifinals where they will meet up with undefeated 20-0 Notre Dame Academy at Clark University. The 10-10 7th seeded Hillers boys battled 2nd seeded 17-3 Medfield in the quarterfinals. Medfield ended the magical season for the young Hillers, taking them down 74-49. Medfield would lose to Marlboro in the semifinals round in a thriller 59-58. Congratulations to Medfield and congratulations to Coach Keene and the Hillers boys on a great turnaround season.